Paul Revere is right, but Henry Watts is wrong. A five, six, seven, eight. A boom, boom, shh. A boom, boom, shh. A boom, boom, shh. A boom, boom, shh. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere on the 18th of April in 75. Hardly a man is now alive. He remembers that famous day and year. He said to his friend, if the British march by land or sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch up the North Church Tower as a signal light. One if by land and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore will be ready to ride and spread the alarm through every middle such road and far. For the country folk to be up and to arm. Then he said good night and with muffled door. Silently go to the Charleston shore. Just as the moon rose over the bay. Where a certain one on his morning sway. The Somerset British man had war. A phantom ship with each mast and spar. Across the moon like a prison bar. And a huge black hole that was magnified by its own reflection in the sky. Meanwhile, his friend, the Allen Street, wanders and watches with eager ears, till in the sun surrounded he hears the muscle of men at the barrack door, the sound of arms and the trip of feet, and the measured tread of the grenadiers marching down to the boat on the shore. Then he climbed the tower of the old North Church by the wooden stairs with stealthy tread to the belfry chamber overhead and startled the pigeons from the earth. The sombre rafters that round him made masses of moving shapes of shade. By the trembling ladder, steep and tall to the highest window in the wall where he paused to listen and look back a moment on the roofs. Of the town and the moonlight blowing over all beneath in the churchyard lay the dead in their night encampment on the hill, oh, wrapped in time so deep, deep, deep and still that he could hear like a sentinel shred the watchful night wind as it went creeping along from tent to tent and seeming to whisper, All is well. Whoa!